Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zadov chess channel and welcome to a very special game that I prepared for you today. I found this game on the official CCRL chess on chess website. This uh, site you have to visit if you haven't already because on that site you have uh, all the beautiful openings that are possible played by top engines. So you can see maybe the Stockfish engine, the Dragon engine, also some other top engines playing uh, for instance maybe the Queen's Gambit decline, the Rui Lopez, I don't know, the Benoni defense. You can see even the bad openings like the Grob defense, uh, Grob, Grob opening and also maybe some dubious opening lines uh, that are possible in chess of course but as i said you can see every of this opening play by top engines and i found really a beautiful uh, game that was played by stockfish against ruby chess in the king's gambit and the king's gambit is really wild but in the beginning when your opponent is playing the move e4 and uh, your response is e5 in my opinion uh, after move f4 you have to uh, meet this idea with e takes f4 immediately if you don't do that i think every particular move order every different idea is simply too slow for you uh, from black perspective so in the beginning i think you have to accept the gambit and then you study maybe a good opening defense or maybe you could try something else but as i said you have to play e takes f4 what happens if you decline or uh, if you not accept the king's gambit uh, you see now in this game because here stockfish really destroys ruby chess in the king's gambit especially because uh, here ruby chess declined to play uh, here the king's gambit accepted so let's check out now this beautiful beautiful and sharp tactical game so here e4 was played by stockfish we have e5 by ruby chess f4 and now we have this uh, queen's knight defense uh, that's called uh, here the idea is clear for instance if you try something like uh, f takes e5 then of course queen to h4 happens and if you cover yourself with g3 queen to e4 uh, loses the rook so that's why uh, white has to be careful after move f4 and knight to c6 most of the times the normal idea is the move knight to f3 here we have uh, the, the so-called uh, miles defense with the move f5 and this shows also that um, black should not to go into the symmetric symmetrical ideas black should not go uh, into this wild stuff of course maybe opportunities are here to go uh, with d6 with normal ideas also knight to f6 are per perfect possibilities bishop to c5 are uh, good opportunities but uh, here with the move f5 the position is exploding immediately and stockfish of course uses this moment place now e takes um, f5 we have uh, e4 so basically here ruby chess tried now to apply some king's gambit ideas but from black's perspective because we have now a wild line which is of course attacking the knight but now after move knight to e5 we have knight to f6 here by uh, by ruby chess because if you try knight to e5 then of course f takes e5 happens and the problem is now for instance if you try queen to h4 it's not possible because still now with g3 this can be of course protected and even if you try something like queen to e7 then we can cover ourselves with the move d4 even if we try queen to e7 immediately without this uh, check um, the, here on h4 still d4 is a good uh, idea here for white because okay uh, maybe you can get challenged with this unpassant but now with queen to h5 uh, this is now the line that liberates white here g6 is of course not possible because we'll simply take uh, if you want to play something else you have to play king to d8 but now with queen to g5 this is in my opinion game over uh, here for for, for black because okay you can maybe take but now after knight to c3 takes takes the problem is now this pawn is weak this pawn will be taken with king to d2 uh, king to c2 but these two pawns are causing now many positional problems here in black's position you still have to make of course the reaction first so as i said this pawns will be afterwards supported with maybe some ideas of a bishop to d3 king to d2 then even rook to e1 i would not love to face now this position because uh, these pawns are really annoying as i said you don't have to uh you don't have good scores to develop your pieces even if you try for instance something like uh bishop to uh, bishop to e7 then we can retreat to f4 and even if you try maybe d6 to liberate yourself then here e6 is the perfect possibility and i think uh, this is again sort of position which black gets more and more paralyzed so as i said uh, here after move of a knight to e5 what uh, ruby chess tried is normal development with move knight to f6 so ruby chess didn't play knight takes e5 so we have here knight to c3 queen to e7 again the same idea and again also after bishop to e2 knight takes e5 f takes e5 queen to e5 again 
the similar liberating line for white with the move d4 so we have seen now in a couple uh, moves before that also d4 was sort of liberating idea where uh, white is getting some spaces and has now a comfortable game so after move d4 what the ruby chest right is e takes d3 on passant and also queen to f5 notice it's possible but after move queen to f5 uh, the queen uh, gets a little bit exposed here the queen becomes an object of white's attack so that's why probably g4 you see would be a beautiful opportunity now for white even if we try queen to e6 then even d5 so we're just pushing it further even if we try queen to e5 again even g5 so you have to now retreat and now after kingside casting that's even a possibility and maybe something like bishop to d6 of course bishop to f4 happens and uh, you see now uh, black is here tactically lost so as i said this is the beauty of this uh, mobile pawns uh, that white could create uh, created immediately so even if if queen to f5 happens this wouldn't be a good continuation anymore for for black so that's why e takes d3 and passant we have queen to d3 protecting now the f5 pawn and now uh we have here d5 liberating of course the light square bishop uh trying of course to take um here the pawn on f5 here stockfish plays a beautiful move rook to f1 protect simply this annoying f5 pawn bit because this eight h2 pawn is not so important what we want to do is now play something like bishop to f4 uh queenside castle and okay maybe black will take this pawn but the guarantee you after queen to h1 uh queen to h2 uh, black will not have a really fun because bishop to f4 you see again the queen becomes more and more an uh, uh, as an object of white's attack you can maybe try queen to h4 g3 you see uh, again the queen has to retreat now we can even take out this one uh, even if you try something like bishop to c5 you see knight to d5 uh, you get the grip everything is falling apart even if you castle for instance knight to f6 uh, here queen to d5 is for instance a possibility so um castling wouldn't be a possibility then anymore for black so as I said, taking the pawn on h2 is simply not an option. So uh, that's why after move rook to f1, uh, here ruby chess didn't take out the pawn, played normal development with the move c6, fixing uh, simply uh, the small pawn chain here. Very important to not lose this pawn on d5. We have seen uh, that this could be also a problem. So we have here bishop to d2 by, uh, by stockfish. Again, if queen takes h2 happens, even if this pawn is fixed, again, we would play simply queen side castle uh then maybe bishop to d7 could be an opportunity maybe white could uh, pardon me black could also prepare queenside castling here but again with bishop to f4 this is again really unpleasant to play uh, after bishop to f4 queen to h4 again queen to d4 notice that now again castling is not possible because you lose this pawn and you lose probably the battle on dark square so as i said again uh black cannot escape from this attack so after move bishop to d2 again ruby chess didn't dare uh to take the pawn on h2 played here simply normal development and now comes a brilliant move again by stockfish here g4 again sacrificing the pawn again if uh, let's see again these possibilities if you're just a pawn grabber if you try to take the pawn then again queenside castle and queen to e5 maybe you could try to escape but now with bishop to f4 for instance you can try queen to e7 but now with g5 the pawns are rolling the king is not secured by castle okay by castling so we can include our rook and maybe on on the e-file so the e-file attack will be also very dangerous so this is really an unpleasant game here for for black so that's why after move g4 here uh finally ruby has tried to escape uh, by kingside casting finally black secured the king but again after queenside casting and knight to d7 this was simply too slow because here stockfish pulled off a beautiful beautiful move bishop to f4 and this is uh, the problem of, about this position because you cannot even play queen to e7 because you have a beautiful tactical shot knight takes d5 after c takes d5 queen to d5 comes of course with check and then you have to cover queen to f7 queen takes f7 rook to f7 now rook takes d6 look at this position the bishop is on the board uh white has two extra pawns so it's a completely lost game here for black uh, for black bishop to c4 uh will come as i said this is something to resign immediately so after move bishop to f4 uh, ruby chess was actually forced to play queen to f4 rook takes f4 bishop to f4 and from this point on obviously it's all almost game over here for black we're now in move 16 and did you see what happens uh if you refute if you decline the king's gambit so after 16 moves uh the game is basically over here for black really really wild stuff really beautiful tactical play by stockfish really wild stuff as i said um, i guarantee you that you not have fun if you don't 
accept the king's gambit you have to find maybe some other defenses there are many defenses against the king's gambit but this is simply not the way how it should play it. so after move bishop to c5 stop which simply escapes king to b1 bishop to h2 now finally ruby just took this annoying pawn on h2 but it's simply not working because after rook to f1 we have now again two uh mobile pawns g5 uh, f6 maybe g5 g6 could work so we will in one particular moment open the position in front of black skin so uh we still have good attacking resources so with this bishop with the queen maybe with the knight so still more attackers can be included in, 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 into the game so f remove rook to f1 we have knight to b6 now comes this mobile pawn g5 bishop to uh, e5 and now queen to uh, e3 attacking the bishop we have again knight to d7 and now f remove bishop to d3 now everything is compact everything is good together we're trying again maybe g6 or f6 so here we have um, rook to f7 rook to h1 now we have g6 which was also desperate trying maybe to defend somehow but here after f takes g6 h takes g6 here finally comes this maneuver because as we said we want to get more pieces into the game you cannot just of course attack with the queen and the rook and the bishop only but still uh this is not defendable anymore for black knight to uh, d4 knight to e6 is also an opportunity so it's game over rook to e7 we have knight to f4 knight to f8 and now after queen to c5 the rook gets attacked we have rook to c7 and after bishop to g6 b6 was played we have queen to e3 protecting uh, the knight we have again this idea uh, rook to e7 but here after move queen to a3 again the rook gets attacked so uh, there's simply not a good way anymore for black to escape from this attacks we have uh, a rook to b7 and after knight to d3 in this position or ruby chest resign so as i said the evaluation is almost plus eight here uh there's always the opportunity to maybe include the, the queen again on e3 uh we can just maybe search for new opportunities for the knight maybe knight to f4 knight to h5 knight to f6 so whatever you do i think you win the game for sure so really really great game as i said this is uh, not something that you should do okay maybe uh after move knight to c6 you could try to defend somehow but after move knight to f3 don't do this um, miles defense because uh, stockfish here showed really an aggressive way how to beat this opening took simply first here e takes f5 after e4 knight to e5 and calls now many many positional and tactical problems for black d4 we have seen was the liberating move in many many of these lines where stockfish gained some activity and uh brutalized really um ruby chess in a great great tactical way so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really enjoyed it a lot especially uh because we haven't seen now the king's gambit in a while i've covered also many great games that were already played by stockfish and also by some other top engines in the king's gambit here's the list of our um of our games that we have analyzed before and if you want to see more uh more games that were uh, were played by stockfish and also by some other top engines here's our list of our comment the chess games play by computer series and uh, if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course